In our next tutorial, we will show you how to create a post. Upon logging in and being greeted with the dashboard, we will use our mouse cursor to find the title posts and hovering over it, we will select Add New. Once the page is loaded, we will be prompted to add a title. This will be the title of the post. In this tutorial, we will create a post for a fun day. Once we have entered our title, for the time being we will select and we will copy this. We will then scroll down to our Yoast SEO section. The Yoast SEO or Search Engine Optimization is what Google will use to index your post within its search results. So, for the focus keyword, we are going to paste the title. Scrolling down a bit, we will come to our edit snippet. We will select this and the window will expand. Here, we will have an option to add a slug. In this case, we will paste the title of the post. Next, we will have to enter a meta description. The meta description is the section that will appear within your search results. So, first, we will need to include the title of the post. Next, we will have to include a write-up pertaining to this post. While doing so, please pay attention to this bar below. As you can see, it has started on orange, and as we add more text, the bar will increase and turn from green, and eventually when too much text has been entered, will turn back to red. For this, I'm just going to be entering random text. As you can see, I've entered the text and it's currently on green. We will now end off the text as we want to keep it on green as that is the preferred amount for Google. Once we are happy, we will simply select the edit snippet again and the window will minimize. Next, we will scroll back up and we'll actually start creating our post. As you can see, I've entered just a brief description. Please note that we will require a fairly in-depth description as we want this to appear in Google search results. Once we're happy, we can choose to add more to this. For example, by hitting enter, we'll open a new text box. By selecting the add block, here we can go and choose an image. As you can see, a new window appears and I have the option to upload a new image or choose one from our media library. We will select choose from library and we will simply select an image that suits this post. Once we have selected the image, a blue border will appear around it and we will simply select select. As you can see, that has now added the image into this post. Once we are happy, we will scroll down and we can see we have already done our SEO. Please note that we would like this to be on green or orange as that is the preferred amount. Scrolling back up to the top, we will select our document tab. And as you can see here, we have the option to change the visibility of the post. We can choose when this post must be published. In other words, we can post it immediately or we can post it in a month's time from now. Next, we will move down to the permalink. This you will not need to worry about. And we will move on to the categories. As you can see here, we currently have quite a few categories. College, grade 8 to 12. We have a COVID, 
category, and so forth. For the time being, we will simply select this as the South City Christian School category. Scrolling down, we will come to our tags. Our tags are also very important, as this is also what Google will use to index your page within its search results. For this, we will copy the title of the post, and we will paste it in and hit enter. As you can see, we have added a tag. Next, we will add more relevant tags, in this case, South City. Another one would be South City School. And so forth. Scrolling down to the next section, we have come to our featured image. Our featured image is what is the image that will appear within Google search results. We will select set featured image and automatically it will take us to our media library. Here we will choose an image we wish to post. In this case we will choose that and we will set the featured image. As you can see it has loaded the image there and if we scroll down you can see the image has been loaded there. This is the Google preview that will show you what it will look like. Once we are happy we will scroll down to the X script, which we do not need to worry about, as well as the discussion and the post attributes. Lastly, we will run through everything once again. We have our title, we have our description, we have an image, if applicable. Scrolling down, we have done our SEO, as we have our key phrase. We have done our snippet, which includes the slug and the meta description. Scrolling back up into the top of the page, we are set to publish this post immediately. We have selected the category South City Christian School. We have entered our tags as well as our featured image. And now that we are happy, we will simply select Publish and this will post the Fun Day post on the website.